Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, uh, I really appreciate this hearing for some very personal reasons. Um, I spent my teenage years growing up in Wichita Falls, Texas. I live, lived at 818 Gerald. I want to be very specific. And um, I didn't know that there was such a thing as living a great distance from uh, what we called at the time the cesspool, uh, which was the waste treatment plant, probably less than 300 yards from my back door. And then about 600 yards away was the city landfill. Uh, anytime we had a strong wind blowing across north Texas, uh, which happened quite a bit, uh, the whole tone of our community changed. People would stay inside because of the the odor. And we took for granted, and you know, I, I don't think anybody can go back and figure out how many people have died as a result of uh, pollutants in the air, uh, but they would be considerable. And then just three months ago, almost four months ago, Jimmy Rainey ran from the living room of his home with only his underwear, trying to get his inhaler to work. He died on the front lawn of his home. And I spoke at his funeral. I began to look at all of the numbers of African Americans and Latinos dying in urban areas of asthma. And then I can't help but think about the the funerals in my hometown uh, at the time I grew up. And then I began to look at this issue and find out that according to the National Law Journal, communities of color take about 20% longer to qualify for either the Superfund or to have any kind of remediation in their communities of what is clearly environmental injustice. Uh, the movement began in the 1980s. I'm not sure that there was much participation even then by the minority communities. And so this gives me an opportunity to not only talk about the issue, but hopefully uh, figure out ways. No one benefits by having a hearing without uh, learning something and then trying to fashion solutions. This is not an intellectual issue for me. It is real. I know human beings who have died. I have friends who have died, and asthma is running rampant in every urban community in this nation. And everybody who has an ounce of concern ought to be angry. I appreciate you calling this hearing, Mr. Chairman.